Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, we have a, a Mother's Day topic uh, today. So um, happy Mother's Day to the moms out there that are watching. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you do and that you continue to do um, in the lives of your children and grandbabies. Um, yeah, so uh, what do you want to say? Yeah, I would just say <laughs> <laughs> happy Mother's Day also to those who desire to be a mother, who um, maybe don't have biological children, but they are mother mm. to many um, who have lost children. Mm. Happy Mother's Day to you as well. So I knew you had something good to say. <laughs> um, so today we're, we're going to um, interview our mom. Uh, we're going to get her insight mm -hmm. um, in her in her journey on her journey of of, of, uh, of motherhood, um, and things she's learned and things she uh, has experienced on this journey. So if we can bring in uh, Julia Hall, uh, our sister in the Lord, Julia. Good morning to you. Where are you? I don't see you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Julia. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you. So good to see you. So good to see you. Um, so yes, we wanted to take up some of your time and thank you for joining us. Um, just to ask you a few questions, just to, just to hear about your experience and your journey. And uh, hopefully um, mothers watching and soon to be moms can, can get some, some helpful uh, advice. Well, first, I just want to say I'm honored that you guys would even reach out to me and ask me to do this. And just in a, li a little, you know, just to be transparent, when you guys asked me, the first thing that went through my mind was there's so many other mothers that I feel are so way more qualified, right, to be sitting here. And so for you to even ask me, you know, um, I'm just like I said, it's an honor. It's a privilege, you know, that you would just want to pick my brain regarding being a mom, you know, in the things that I face, the ups, the downs, the ebbs, the flows of motherhood, you know, um, it's, it's motherhood is, I think for me, I've learned who I am through motherhood. And um, I have three children. My children are now grown and I'm a grandmother. So I'm kind of embarking on another area, if you will, of motherhood and understanding grandmotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> which is a whole nother area, right? It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, being a grandma is a love that you just, listen, my grandkids can do no wrong. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> they can do no wrong. They are perfect in my sight. <laughs> and trust me, they do act up, but they are, they're perfect. So, um, and my, my grown kids, they could, they, they say to me a lot, Ma, you have so much patience with them. You didn't have that patience with us. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> um, but it is, it's, it's a love. And so I, um, you know, I was a, I started, I was a mom for more. I've, I've been a mom since I was 16. Okay. So I kind of grew, you know, I, I, not only was I raising a son, I was also still being raised myself. Right. That had some challenges. I've learned some different things along the way. And so, um, you know, I've made some mistakes as a mom, no condemnation, you know, but we try to do the best in preparing our children for the world. And so I think one of the questions, I can't remember all the questions you had asked me, um, Minister Johnny, but I do remember one of them had to do with, I think, um, just, I don't know, like what I faced or, or some things that I've learned. And one of the things that I've learned through being a mom, especially now having older kids, I think I had to learn kind of quick how to mother adult children mm. versus mothering younger children because they do grow up and they do become adults. And so, you know, one of the things I did learn through that process is understanding that as they become adults, they no longer have to, they don't have to listen to me anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Can't put them on punishment, you know, for a week and tell them they can't come out of their room. They don't have to listen. And so what does my heart good now that they're adults is when they do take my advice because they don't have to, you know? Um, and so, yeah, I was reminded of, a story, if I could just pass on some words of wisdom. Um, do you have any other questions for me before I go on? Or we do, we do. We do. <laughs> I don't want to. You, you, can save, you can save the wisdom part for the for the end. Okay. Fine. Okay. Um, so so th that's that's that's. I we didn't know that. 
at all. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know that, that she was a mom at 16. Oh. Um, so, and like you said, I think you, you bring up a good point where you had to learn how to um, mother adult children really fast, right? Because I mean, but for the good part of, the, that, of your motherhood, you were still growing yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so like, so how, how did that, like, what, what was that transition period? Like, how did you get into becoming, wait a minute, these kids are about to be adults. I need to start realizing and acting as if I, um, I'm a mother, I'm a mother to adult children. Like, how was that for you? So I, once I started realizing, right, that they were not listening to me, <laughs> like I would <laughs> say things to them and they'd be like, yeah, ma, you know, you always got something to say, not in a disrespectful way. Let me just put right. that up because, you know, as adults, you can hit them and can't do that. I'm just saying. So no, they were not disrespectful or anything like that. But it was more so I could I could feel the pushback, right? Mm -hmm. And you know when someone is not taking your advice. I'm sure you've had conversations, you know, with nieces and nephews or you know people in your family. And you just know that they're not listening, and that was getting frustrating for me because I love my children and I could see that this, the decisions they were making as adults, I knew that they were not going to have the best outcomes, right? So I would give my motherly wisdom unasked for because that's what moms do we do always have something to say let me just put that out there um we do so i would say things that i would get the pushback right i would get the you know ma you always got something to say you know um just you know those those kinds of um comments and so what i really did i said lord i need you to show me how to help them Right. When I see that they're doing something wrong, how do I help them? And so, you know, God really helped me to understand that at the ages that they're right now as adults, I can see the train coming. I can tell them something, but it's up to them to move out of the way. Right. And just even thinking in my own right upbringing and, you know, my own um, life as a as a teenager and so forth. My mother would tell me things and there were times that I did not move out of the way and I got hit. It is what, you know, hit. By, I'm saying hit by life, right? right? Because I didn't take her advice. So, you know, I understand that they have to learn it. They have to, there were things that they can only get their way. Right. We can say things, we can put it out there, but it's up to them to take it and to run with it. So, you know, let me just say this, moms and dads, our kids are gonna make crazy decisions. They're gonna make decisions that we wish they wouldn't make. But being a believer, now this is where being a believer comes in, we are to continue to pray for our kids. Actually, I find myself praying more for them now than I did when they were like three, four, and five, right? Mm -hmm. um, I find myself praying more for them now because they're making their own decisions. They're out in the world. They're doing what they want to do. And just, you know, again, from my own experience, I know that certain decisions that I made did not have the best outcomes for me. So of course, they're not going to have the same outcomes for them, right? And let me just add this too. We start to see as our children get older, we, just, we start to see a little bit of us in them. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Right? And, that, and that stretches along the, 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 the um, it, it stretches along right both extremes. We see some good and we see some not so good. You know, it is what it is. We raise them. So they do have us in them. And so for me, it was, you know, Lord, show me what to say. Give me wisdom in, you know, where they're at right now on how to show up as their mom, how to show up, you know, as a friend, because there, there is a friendship that I have with my daughters and my son, especially now that they're parents or my children are parents. So, you know, th there was that friendship. There's that, you know, advisor. They do come to me for advice. And so I'm always welcome to give them advice. And so what I've learned, I think, is sometimes giving advice now when it's warranted versus not when it's warranted. And that can hurt because, again, you see your children making decisions and you want to say something, but sometimes you don't need to say anything. Right. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, so wrapping up here, what is one thing that you would give advice to parents? There you go. Here's your time. Or moms. Oh, <laughs> So I was thinking about this scripture, right? That's found in John six very quickly. And it talks about the young boy who, when Jesus fed the 5,000 men and uh, women and children, there was young, a, a young boy there who was prepared. We're always trying to prepare our children for the world. We know that we can't prepare them for everything that happens in this world. You know, we're raising them. We're always telling them, you know, be nice, do this, say thank you and please. And, you know, we just do the best we can. But 
one thing we're not, one piece of that story we're not privy to, the young lad having the five loaves and the fish, is that the Bible tells us that he was a little boy. So clearly his mother had to make that lunch for him, right? She's just probably at the house thinking, you know, this boy's gonna go out in the world today. Let me prepare him with a lunch. Not realize, realizing that what that little lunch was going to act as a catalyst to where he, through that, through that lunch that she prepared for him, was going to put him in a place where he was going to experience the miraculous event that he experienced with Jesus Christ. So my wisdom to our mothers on today is don't stop preparing your children. Teach them compassion. Teach them love at the house. Prepare them as much as you can for the world because what you prepare them with, what you put in them, you never know how it's going to set them up for a miraculous encounter with the Father. Wow. So good. On that note, <laughs> wow, <laughs> man, yeah, because they will have they will, will they will have an encounter. They will, they will wow, encounter. You so over good. your babies, they will have an encounter with the father. That is so good. Thank you so That's much, awesome. Sister Julia, for sharing. You're that welcome. Uh, happy yeah. Mother's Day, everybody. Yes, happy Mother's Day to everyone. Happy Mother's Day to you, Sister Julia. Again, thank you for joining us today and sharing your wisdom and your experience with the world. Um, so again, thank you. We hope that you have an amazing Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. um, we hope your children just pour their love into you and over you and just spoil you rotten today. <laughs> <laughs> so again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thanks oh, for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to transition over to our tithes and offering today. Elder uh, Russell Gross, I hope you are ready. Um, before we do that, Elder uh, Gross, I want to give you a huge thank you for yesterday helping out with the men and the moving of the equipment. Um, he was lifting some heavy stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Go ahead, other girls. Show them, flex your muscle today, sir. Um, <laughs> but yes, we're gonna transition over to the time of offer. And thank you all for joining us. Happy Mother's Day again to, to the mothers out there um, and grandmothers. Thank you all. <laughs> 